So today on our episode is we're going to be uh, setting up our fluval chai. 19 liter 5 US gallon aquarium. Bright LED lights, powerful filtration. There we go. Unbox the chai. Remember this is previously used, but it was like mint. Pull this up slowly. I think this is a clear box. There's Fia watching. Got a glass there, glass housing, I guess this goes on top, like that, there's the LED lights. I don't know if we should actually clean that up, put that aside, and we got the tank, and again this tank didn't have a lid when we got it, we're going to give this a nice washing because this tank is like really really dirty, I did not know how dirty it was, it was like sitting there and whatnot. This doesn't smell like anything. I guess this is the stem for where the light's gonna go. And uh, there's no glass lid. As you can see, it says right there, fluval chai. All right, so we got the tank cleaned. While we're waiting for it to dry a little bit and drip out, we're actually gonna open up this bag of fluval stratum. It is a substrate for shrimp and planted tank. And uh, we're gonna use this one package that we uh, picked up from Kijiji for 10 bucks. We we'll jump in this bucket. This is plenty of substrate for that one chai. Remember, we're not experts in doing planted tanks, so we're gonna. This is a trial and error for us because we don't know nothing about planted tanks. We're going from what we know, and that's by reading and talking to people. We actually went to one of the LFS stores here, and the guy there told me just to give it a rinsing. We're gonna fill that up with water, and we're gonna rinse it out. So hold up. So just filling this bucket up, it gets very very dark right away, so I'm not going to fill it up all the way, maybe half. And I'm using cold water here. Planted tags all of them use mostly cold water. Alright, that should be enough. I'm just going to give it a nice little rinse here on my hand. The same thing as washing rice. What I mean by washing rice is you want to get right into it a couple times, two to three times before you actually leave the water and let it cook. But here we're just rinsing, we're not cooking. We're going to drain this one. So we do with the first one. Okay, so now we're going to actually administer the substrate into there. And I'm going to get really mucky and dirty, but right now I'm just going to take handfuls of it and I'm going to put it right in there. Okay, he was like, what are you doing? No, buddy, hold on. Remember, this is plant or shrimp substrate. I think that's about it. So I'm getting about half, about two inches coverage, which is saying that we should have at least, I don't know, three to inches, but I'm like, I'm good with that. I don't I gotta go spend another arm and a leg for some straight. You always want to keep a rag when you're working around doing stuff like this. That. Okay, we're gonna set up our light slash filter. This system runs, but anyways we'll take it apart. So I guess that comes apart. It acts as a cover for the light. This is like the filter for the water. That's one. There you go. This all comes apart. And we'll put all this stuff back. Um, the filter foam goes in. And then this goes right here. Oh, it goes this way. Awesome, awesome. And this is the tag. I guess that's for easy lift and removal. That drops in. So I'm just going to mount that right on. Look at that. It's nice and polished and clean and everything like that and then I guess I'm just going to give this a little wiping up here I'll put this on top like that okay now we're going to be filling the tank up what we're going to be doing is we're going to connect my one end here and then Jan turn it on cold water here we go so what you want to do is you're going to use this plate and it's not going to agitate any so all you have to do is like put the plate and you're going to aim the water right onto the plate or whatever plate you're using and it's going to give it an even spread 
and that way none of the muck is going up. Little technique that I've always known and I've always wanted to share with you guys and showing you how to fill up a tank and you don't agitate the substrate. And that way none of the muck is going up. I'm probably going to add a little drop of prime just to give it a fighting the chloramine and the chlorine. Okay, this is almost just about done. You just take this bucket, put it in. Always make sure you have a reservoir. Add the filter in. We're going to place it right onto the top like what we were doing. And there's the filter. Look at that. So that's the chai. Okay, and it has a nice trickle effect now once you put the lid on. And it had, kind of beads the water down. And, and we added some of this uh, water conditioner here. Makes tap water safe for all fish. Ah, I got some plants that I actually picked up from uh, the local L LFS here. We got some uh, hygrophila. It's, it's encased in the housing. And um, I don't know how we're going to put this thing in here, but we'll do some reading up on that. We also picked up some... Vesicularia, and these are uh, 20 centimeter wide in 30 days. Wow, I guess this can spread it. This can, spread. that's the chai for you. So that, this is video one of how this chai is actually gonna be.